Hey guys, welcome to the final announcement of our Data Asia 2021 Hackathon. After an almost month-long execution and hard work from our participants, we managed to choose four finalists who just finished their presentation earlier this morning to our panel of judges. One of them will stand a chance to win our top grand prize today, which consists of a company secretary package from Founding Bird, digital services and solutions from Virtual Tech Frontier, and also hardware equipment from Logitech and Microsoft, courtesy of Thundermatch and Click Asia. We have already tabulated our scores from the judges, and we have a winner with very tight scores among the participants. I believe it indeed was a tough choice from our judges. However, among all, one winner was selected in the end. And without further ado, let's announce the winner for today. And the winner for Data Asia's 2021 Hackathon Challenge is Team Price Guide with their solution Price Shop. Congratulations to the team and our support staff will contact you soon. For the rest of the teams, fret not as if you are still interested in linking up with our fellow retail partners, do let the organizing committee know and we will still arrange a presentation session with our fellow retail partners instead. Lastly, I would like to thank all of our sponsors and all of our retail partners that contributed to the success of Data Asia's Hackathon 2021. So moving on to our final session, I would like to invite Mr. Rajan Doraraj, the Senior Manager of Partnerships at Magic, to give his closing remarks. Let's all welcome Mr. Rajan. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I'm honored to join all of you virtually today at the closing of Data Asia 2021, a week-long virtual tech experience bringing together all the startup ecosystem players to converge on this virtual tech expo. These high impact virtual experiences have been enabled by a group of visionary leaders and courageous innovators, showcasing the latest trends in Malaysia's tech and digital innovation of today. It is already known fact that the COVID-19 pandemic has forced us to accelerate adoption of digital technologies, and this new norm is likely to have lasting effects as the economy recover. However, we are also aware that not everyone is ready to embrace new technologies and digitalization, unlike tech startups who are mainly digital natives. Therefore, as part of Magic's effort to nurture the growth of startups and encourage digital adoption amongst Malaysian businesses, we are pleased to support this inaugural virtual tech expo, Data Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to our week-long learning from this event, I would also like to share with you some of Magic's key initiatives that may be relevant to your growth journey. Number one, in July 2020, the government launched the National Technology Innovation Sandbox, or NTIS initiative. This initiative is led by the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, or known as MOSTI. MAGIC was selected by MOSTI to be the leading agency supporting this initiative, apart from MIMOS, Technology Park Malaysia, and Futurize, who make up the NTIS Secretariat. NTIS is aimed to spur innovation by facilitating researchers, innovators, startups, and high-tech entrepreneurs to test, validate their products, services, and business models in a safe environment. MAGIC is inviting all of our ecosystem players from the startup community, VCs, industries, and business communities to be part of this NTIS initiative to help develop new solutions and catalyze innovation in Malaysia. Number two, if you have commercialized your products and services and are keen to scale in the ASEAN region and beyond, MAGIC offers the Global Market Fit Program, GMP. This virtual program provides a platform for high growth innovative startups to explore cultures, understand ways of businesses to gain international market access. This program aims to provide assistance for startups to accelerate growth with new products or solutions, market fit strategies expanding to other countries. And finally, for aspiring entrepreneurs and early stage startups, we have a series of magic virtual bootcamps. 
These are four tracks of virtual boot camps, beginning with FinTech and InsurTech, which is currently in session. Upcoming is DeepTech, followed by DroneTech, and finally AgriTech. These virtual boot camps are intensive output-driven courses for teams to build, test, and refine their ideas to produce minimum viable product prototypes with the intention for commercialization. These boot camps are designed based on government initiative according to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or better known as SDGs, and National Technology Innovation Sandbox focused areas that coincide with addressing national and global issues. We welcome applications from aspiring entrepreneurs with ideas or prototypes to be validated or developed, corporate entrepreneurs sponsored and or supported by corporations as part of internal innovation efforts and student entrepreneurs, preferably pursuing tertiary education. I trust Data Asia will be the platform to connect the brightest minds in digital and tech, facilitating high value networking opportunities between investors, corporates and entrepreneurs to exchange innovative ideas and introduce new solutions and game-changing technologies in the region's fast-growing digital economy. To conclude, I would like to congratulate Virtual Tech Frontier for organizing Data Asia. I would also like to thank all the supporting sponsors and partners, namely Visa Payments, NetApp, Exabytes, and others for their contribution in making this event a success. With this, I would like to officially close Data Asia Virtual Tech Expo. Let us all learn from this opportunity to hustle our way to success for the benefit of our nation's economic recovery. Thank you. Finally, our Data Asia has come to an end. Now, may we invite Jason Lowe once again, the CEO of Virtual Tech Frontier, for his closing speech. Hi everyone, I'm Jason, and once again, I would like to extend warm greetings to all of our virtual participants. This past week at Data Asia has been a truly eventful experience. We've had great engagement among our attendees and exhibitors, and I'm sure that everyone had a great time networking and gaining new knowledge on digitalization. We've also successfully organized some exciting events with wonderful participations in our hackathon contests, startup pitching sessions, and keynote speaker sessions. I'm delighted that our vision for Data Asia has shown great results. It is my sincere hope that everyone had valuable takeaways from this event and will be able to implement what you have gained towards digital transformation in your own fields. The future of digitalization starts now. Take the right initiatives, be proactive, and don't stop moving forward. And I'm sure that everyone will be able to overcome current challenges and grow your business towards a brighter future. As Data Asia comes to an end, I'd like to congratulate the team behind the event at Virtual Tech Frontier for successfully creating this wonderful virtual experience. I will also like to extend a big thank you to Exabytes for hosting Data Asia, as well as to our sponsors NetApp, New Pages, Simul, Visa, and the rest of our exhibitors for supporting this event. Last but not least, I am truly grateful to all of our exhibitors and attendees for coming together to make this event a success. There will certainly be bigger and better virtual experiences in the future, and I hope to see all of you virtually over there. Thank you. Our week-long virtual tech expo is finally coming to an end. On behalf of Data Asia, we'd like to thank all our attendees, exhibitors, and of course our sponsors for coming together and making this event a success. We hope to see you all again in the next event. And before we end the event, let's all enjoy the closing video presentation.
That's all for Data Asia. Thank you for staying with us for the last seven days. I'm Frida Liu. We hope to see you again virtually. Stay safe and goodbye.